Today I really wanted to hone in on the YouTube section of Notion and in this section I have over 200 video ideas. I've planned my videos three months in advance and I have my exact strategy as to how I'm going to grow in 2021. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I organize everything YouTube in one app. And that app is called Notion and Notion is super versatile. I use it to organize every single aspect of my life, my uni, my YouTube. In this video, I'm not actually gonna show you how to set up something like this or how it works, but if you wanna see something like that, I have posted a video running through this. So I will link that up here. Definitely go and check that out if you have no idea what Notion is. But today I really wanted to hone in on the YouTube YouTube section of Notion and in this section I have over 200 video ideas. I've planned my videos three months in advance and I have my exact strategy as to how I'm going to grow in 2021 as well as a lot of other stuff. So this workspace keeps me completely on top of everything to do with YouTube. I know I will never miss an upload or run out of video ideas or forget something. It is all in here. So I'm just going to start screen sharing and get straight on into it. So this is what my YouTube page looks like. Starting at the top, I have a call out and here I've just written what my channel is about. It kind of gives me a bit of focus and direction on what my niche is. Then underneath I have my content calendar and this is the super juicy bit. This is where everything is. And this content calendar has multiple different views. As you can see up here, I've got an all upload dates, film dates and next four weeks. So I'm going to start with the all section. So this view has one filter and that is where upload date is after one week ago. So I can only see any videos that I uploaded in the last week and that's a super useful filter, otherwise it would be a massive table. So on the left, I have my upload date and I have filled this out quite far in advance to March 16th. And you'll see why I have done this when I show you my next view. And then in the next column over, I have my video name. So this isn't the actual title that I use. This is just kind of a shorter title so that I know what video I'm filming. And then over here, I have a status column. So this is where I keep track of where I am up to in the video process. So I have an uploaded one, obviously for when I've uploaded them. I have a scheduled one for when it is ready to be published onto YouTube and it's already been loaded onto YouTube. I have an editing status, I have a filmed status, and I also have a planned status. And planned is when I have written out the video outline for that video. In the next column over, I have film dates, and this is super helpful for when I am bulk filming. And it is also useful in another view, which I will show you after this. Then I have an ongoing column and I select this when the filming is ongoing. So for example, my pack with me for college video will be filmed over a week. So I have selected ongoing for that. Then I have a notes column and I'm using this mainly at the moment to keep track of the videos that I need to have ready to upload ahead of time. As you can see, there are quite a few of them at the moment. Then in the next column over, I have to do, this is where I keep notes of what I need left to do. So for example, if I need to film some B-roll for something or if I need to edit the description of the video, I'll put that in this column. And then in this next column, over, I have a type. I have a select menu where I put in the type of video. So I have productive, notion, and then I also have a personal option. And that just helps me keep focused with what types of videos I am putting out. So going back to that filter button, if I show you what it looks like without that filter on it. So this takes me all the way back to when I first uploaded a video, but you can see here that I've uploaded three personal videos in a row, which I don't really want to do. So that kind of showed me maybe I need to break it up a little bit or spread them out a little bit more and kind of balance my content. So that is the all view and that is the most overwhelming view I think. So now moving on to my most used view and this is upload dates and this is what I normally view everything on and this is all based on that upload dates column. So as you can see this is a calendar. Here I can see the video title and the status and obviously what date it is being uploaded on. I also use this view to drag around the videos and to rearrange and reschedule them. It is so much easier than doing it in that list view. Notion can be a bit finicky with stuff like that. So this is how I rearrange everything. So I can look ahead in this calendar all the way up. I have scheduled until March. And I can see every single date that I will need to upload a video. The next view is film dates. And this is another calendar using the film dates column in my all table. So I haven't been using this as much at the moment because I'm kind of just filming whenever because I have a lot of spare time at the moment but when I was doing uni especially I would dedicate days to filming and then I would bulk film like two or three videos at a time so for example on the 19th of November that was a super busy week of uni and I just dedicated this day to doing three videos and I could also see that I was filming an ongoing video over four days 
And then the next few that I have is the next four weeks. And I don't use this as much, but I made it because when I was looking at that all list view, it was super overwhelming. Sometimes I need to just narrow down and focus on the next four weeks. So I've just got the filter set to is within the next month and includes today. So the next really important thing that I use in Notion is my video template. So if I go back to that all view and I wanna schedule a video in for March 9th, I'll just press the open page and I have created a video outline template as you can see here. So I'm gonna click that and this is what comes up. And I created this because I wanted to intentionally plan my videos. I wanted to be very clear on what the value was, why I was doing it, what it will look like. And I'm actually gonna go through this template in my next video, which is my YouTube strategy and my goals for 2020 and how I plan to achieve those goals. And this template is part of that strategy, so I'm gonna save it till then. But in here, I also outline my videos. So I'll show you just quickly what that might look like. For example, this video here is my Notion for YouTube video. So I have filled out this template and then down the bottom here, I have just a really brief outline of my videos and it just helps me cut down on time trying to think of what I'm going to say next and what I want to say in the video. So I have started doing that for all of my videos and then when I have written an outline that is when it's classified as planned. Okay, so underneath the content calendar, I have a gallery. So this is what a gallery looks like here. And this first one is for my video ideas. And I split all of my video ideas into categories. I used to have them all in one list, but there are so many that it was so overwhelming. So I have uni college videos, I have productivity videos, personal videos, lifestyle videos, other videos that don't really fit into a category. And I also have easy to film, which is super helpful when you know you need to film something, but you just don't feel like filming a video that's a really massive project and task, if you know what I mean. So for example, this video is actually in that category because all I have to do is just sit down and talk. The most important part of this gallery is my monthly plan page, which I am gonna show you. So I will take you through how I set this up. So the first thing that I do is I count the number of videos that I will need to upload. So to do this, I go to my upload dates calendar, and say I'm looking ahead at February, upload one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to upload eight videos. So then I will just write underneath February 8, and I've written in here that they all need to be scheduled because I'm away for the whole of February, so. And then what I do is in number format, in no particular order, I just write down all of the videos that I wanna do. And the reason why I do this is because when I put them into that content calendar above, they need to have a date to them. And it's really hard to plan ahead the exact date that you wanna upload a video because you really don't know what date you're gonna upload everything, if you're gonna film this one first or this one first, and if this one's gonna be easier to edit quickly. So instead of putting a date to them straight away, I just put them in here. Then I have all of the eight videos that I wanna upload that month. And then when it gets to that time, then I can start actually scheduling them and specifying a date. This is also super helpful for month specific videos. So for example, in March, I wanna do a pack with me for college and a moving into college video that I would only upload in March. So I've kind of written that in there and then I just make sure I have enough video ideas for that month. I've also bolded them when I have filmed them just so I can also keep track of it that way. And then I normally start planning this list about a month in advance. I've done it up until April now, just because I know that I have a really busy couple of months ahead and not being able to film and having to have all of my videos planned. So it just kind of gives me like a rough plan that's not stuck to a date. And then I just know what's coming up in the month ahead. And this is where all my brainstorming is. I can also rearrange. So say I actually wanna do this video in January, all I have to do is pop it up there and then it gets added to that list. Then in my next gallery below, I have my pages view. So the first one is a 2021 strategy page, which again, I will be showing you in my next video. And the next one over, I have some talking video ideas, which I should actually put up here. I don't know why they're in there. They're gonna go into the video idea. I have some videos that eventually later on I wanna do. I wanna just sit down and talk about. Then I have my video descriptions. So this is what I copy and paste into my description box when I upload a video. Then I have some shorts and reels ideas. This is just where I keep a list of any ideas that I have. Over here is my branding page and I'm still working on this one at the moment. I've only got some thumbnails and I've just kind of talked about what I want my thumbnails to be. And I've just got some inspiration here about some thumbnails that I like and kind of the coherence that I want. I also have some colors under here. I'm still working on a color palette for my channel, but when I do finally decide on one that will all go in here. So I think it's really useful having a branding page and I'm at a really important stage of my channel when I'm trying to still establish my brand and what I want it to look like. And that is one of my big tasks for 2021 is to decide on colors that I wanna use, the fonts that I 
want to use, what vibe I want my channel to have. So this is a really good starting point for me to have this branding page. I have my video outline template that I kind of touched on before to plan my videos, which I will be talking about in my next video. In this page, I have some YouTube tips and I watch a lot of videos about like how to grow on YouTube, what works, what doesn't. So I just started keeping like a little list of some of these tips, you know, title ideas and stuff like that, because I feel like when I write it down, then it's actually being cemented into my brain. And then the next page over is called Shh because it's secret business. It's just kind of ideas of where I want to take my channel, what I want to do with it eventually. And then underneath here, I have my this month's goals and I will touch on this even more in my next video about how I set these goals, how I keep track of these goals. But here, this is a constant reminder of what this month's goals are. It's just a motivator for me. It keeps me on track. I also wanted to kind of touch on my planning process. So kind of continuously, I am jotting down video ideas into the categories. And then I'm also putting this into my monthly plan, trying to rearrange them and fill up those number of videos that I need for that month and the month ahead and even the month after that if I can. And then every week I will look ahead at the next two or three weeks and I will put those videos from the monthly plan and allocate them to specific dates. And then I will also write as many scripts as possible. So using that video template in kind of one sitting, I will write like five or six scripts or outlines so that I know that whenever I have time or feel like I wanna film a video, I can sit down and I have the video script there ready to go. I have everything that I need to film that video and I'm completely prepared. Okay, so I really hope I didn't forget anything in that video. That was a lot of information, but I hope it all made sense. And I really hope that it was helpful if you are a content creator or a YouTuber. It really works for me. It will be different for everyone. Try and find something that works for you, but this might give you a bit of inspiration and some ideas on where to start. And I actually think that I'm going to create a blank sort of template for you guys that you can download and then just start filling in yourselves. So if that is something that you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to do that for free. And make sure you are subscribed for Friday's video on my YouTube goals for the year and how I plan to achieve them. I'm gonna tell you everything about my strategy, but for now that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you then. Bye.